After several wildfires burned across southern Idaho this past summer, the state's Bureau of Land Management found that many of the areas in which wild horses were living became unsustainable when their natural food supply burned off. I'm your neighborhood reporter Allie Tripke here at the Boise Wild Horse Off-Range Corrals talking with BLM about what is next for some of these wild horses. Late September, BLM Idaho gathered around 70 horses from multiple rangelands after wildfires like the Jump Fire burned hundreds of thousands of acres, scorching the horses' food source. The Sands Basin herd was gathered from the mountains beyond Marsing, and the Four Mile herd was gathered from the area where the Paddock Fire had burned nearly 200,000 acres north of Emmett. And we're caring for them right now here at the Boise Wild Horse Off Range Corral. Several people came by the corral Saturday for the public viewing. The BLM Wild Horse and Burrow Program says they didn't see any injured horses from the fire but nearly all the ground had been burned. Which necessitated our emergency action to gather these animals so that we could be sure that they had enough food and water to sustain them until they can be returned to the range. There is no timeline on when the herds will return to their range lands as they need to wait for the land to be healthy again so it can sustain the population. Mayors will be administered a fertility vaccine called Gonicon that the BLM says will lower pregnancy frequency in order to keep the population levels a healthy rate. The horses unfit to return to the rangeland may be available for adoption sometime next year. While many of the horses will be returned to the rangeland, some will be up for adoption and those interested in adopting can follow along on BLM Idaho's Wild Horse and Burrow Facebook pages to check out future adoption events. Reporting from the Boise Off-Range Wild Horse Corrals, I'm your neighborhood reporter Ellie Tripke for Idaho News 6.